In a previous video, I showed how to attach a metahuman head to a different body. In this video, I'll be showing how to do the same, but using a blueprint method, and also how to remove the neck and shoulders from the metahuman head. So first of all, we're going to find the metahuman head material. Open that up. And we want to change the material type to masked. Then import the PNG file. I've left a few links below. And hook that up to opacity mask and save. And now if you open any of the metahuman face meshes, you'll notice that the shoulders have been removed. If you want to remove more of the neck, just Increase the amount of black at the bottom of the PNG. Now open the skeletal mesh of whatever figure you want to add the metahuman head to. And then go down to LOD and basically just disable every section that you want to get rid of. So eyes, head, hair, tongue, teeth, etc. Now create a blueprint. Open that up and drag the skeletal mesh in. Then go to the face folder of the metahuman you want to use and drag the face mesh in. And then you'll need to attach it to the skeletal mesh. Um, in this example, it's showing as I'm attaching it to the neck, but I actually ended up attaching to the head. If you attach to the neck, then the metahuman head rotation will be dominant. Um, if you attach it to the head, then it will copy whatever animation the skeletal mesh is using for the head. When, when you attach it, it will end up at this strange angle, so you'll just have to adjust it. And for this example, you'd also need to adjust the scale Just because this character, this just because this particular character has kind of a smaller head, you can either adjust the size of the head to be smaller or make the body bigger. The advantage of using the blueprint method rather than the previous one that I did is that it keeps everything in one place. Then open the metahuman blueprint and select the hair, eyebrows, etc. Copy those and paste into the new blueprint and then attach those to the metahuman face mesh. And then if you reset them to zero, they should be in the right place. For this one, this hair is kind of a bit too long because um, with animations, the hair kind of goes through the body so I need a hair that's kind of shorter so it doesn't look weird. So I'm just selecting a different hairstyle to add.
And now if you create a level sequence and add the this new blueprint to it, and then attach and select the uh, skeletal mesh body, and then from there you can choose whatever animations go with that particular body. One thing you might want to do is uh, temporarily enable the head on the body mesh just for reference to figure out what size the metahuman head should be and where it should be in relation to the body. And then once you've got it in the right place, you can just disable the head again. You might want to make a few adjustments to get this right. Just play around with it. Um, you might have to change the angle, you might have to change the scale. And then test it out with the animations to see if it looks right. If you notice any bits of neck sticking out, you can just adjust the amount of black or where the black appears on the PNG. And that's it. I'll leave the links to the opacity masks and the assets. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.